Hi there, what's up everybody? Welcome back to uh, 1949 where we've got another um, game in the series between the Red Sox and the Tigers. Um, after uh, reading a comment from one of our uh, viewers, I decided to increase the play-by-play uh, -play font, which may help you as you're watching this. Williams up there takes a strike and it's an 0-1 count on him. And he pops one up over in foul ground, and it's uh, Aaron Robinson, the catcher, who has it for the first out. Here comes Vern Stevens. Stevens takes a ball. This should help me as well with this uh, bolder and bigger play-by-play -play so I can uh, make sure I'm reading the right thing. Two and one now. Hutchinson has fallen behind to uh, Stevens. There's a pop-up to uh, third base. Kell has it for the out. Here comes Birdie Tebbets, and he uh, fouls one off 0-1 and, and swings and uh, fouls that one off as well 0-2. There's a ball to him. It's 1-2 and two now. And there's a hit over to a shallow right field, and that's a base hit for Tebbets. That'll be the Red Sox first hit of this game. And here comes Johnny Pesky. So yeah, I've changed over. I'm using Times New Roman font, uh, bolded, and it's size 18. Um, it was a size 14 before, but uh, the uh, uh, parameters of my screen have made that a little bit hard to see. One and one now is the count on Johnny Pesky, and he swings and hits one over to Lipon at short. He flips that one over to Barry for the out. We go to the bottom of the first inning, and here is uh, George Kell. George Kell up there hitting 284, takes a strike, and there's a change of blowing away. One and one now the count on Kell, and there's a ground ball over to Pesky. A third throws the first for the out, one away. Here's Johnny Groth, and he has a little pop-up, and that one is just foul. Owen won the count, and there's a uh, ball in the dirt. One and one now, and that one misses high. It's a 2-1 count now on Groth, and he lines a base hit to right field that falls in front of O'Brien, and here comes Vic Wirtz. And uh, where it's misses uh, or lays off of one, then another one off the play, two and no, the count on him, and he fouls one off. It's two and one, and uh, fouls another one off, two and two now, the count. And uh, there's a ground ball up the middle, and Dewar has it, flips over to Stevens, throws over to first for the out, and uh, we go to the top of the second inning as Boston run, turns the uh, double play. Here's Tommy O'Brien, who takes a strike, takes the ball low and outside, and there's one high, two and one now, the count. That one's lifted up foul, just out of play, two and two now. 3-2 and two now is the count on O'Brien, and there's a fastball in there for strike three. Fred Hutchinson gets that one right over the heart of the plate, catches him looking, and here's Bobby Doerr who takes a strike here. One out here top of the second, fouls one back, 0-2 the count. There's a liner to right field, and that falls in front of Wirtz, and uh, that's a base hit. That'll bring up Billy Hitchcock, who's hitting 111. And uh, there is a uh, little ground ball over to Barry, who throws over to first base and just doesn't have anything on it, and that ends up being an infield base hit. And uh, that was a pretty poor play there by uh, Barry, and um, he's going to uh, probably feel pretty bad about that one, especially when I uh, end up featuring him in the end for one of the uh, poor plays. Barry is not a great fielding short uh, second baseman, rather, and uh, it really shows here. That was not a good play. That was not a good play by any stretch of the imagination. And as I've said before so many times this season, if you give the Red Sox a uh, inch, they'll take a mile. Here's Stan Spence hitting 0.50. You know, he's hitting about a, a half dollar here. And there's a little ground ball over to Hutchinson, the pitcher. And um, he throws the first for the out. He looked at third and had a potential force, but thought it was too risky. He threw to first instead. Ellis Kinder, the uh, Boston pitcher, is up now and fouls one off. And then he hits a little ground ball over to uh, Kell, who drops it, picks it up again, throws the first for the out. We go to the bottom of the second inning, and it's Hoot Evers up there now who takes a ball. And there's a slider upstairs. Ball two, two, and no, the count now. And there's one outside that's too far outside. Three, and no, now the count on Evers. And there's one on the outside corner for a strike, three and one. That off-speed pitch is too low, and he lost him. And here comes Aaron Robinson, runner on first base. Robinson only hitting 179. Tigers are all hitting poorly, of course. And uh, there's two straight balls to Robinson. And there's a breaking ball in there for a strike, two and one, the count now. And 2-1 uh, pitch is in there, and uh, that's a ball again. 3-1 and one the count. We'll have Robinson take. And he looks at ball four up and in, and uh, Detroit has had two walks here in the bottom of the second inning. Nobody out. Here's Paul Campbell. He's hitting 352, and he hits one over to left center field, and that will score one and uh, moves Robinson over to third. Just like that here in the uh, bottom of the second inning, the Tigers have taken the lead, and that lead now is uh, one nothing. And uh, that was a uh, pretty uh, pretty good piece of uh, hitting there by uh, Paul Campbell, who's uh, trying to tell me that I should be playing him a little bit further up in the lineup. I am going to have to take some time uh, to uh, go through some of these uh, lineups again. As you can imagine, in the uh, interest of trying to get these games under my belt, I try to you know pick lineups quickly, and I usually do lineup changes about once every week. But uh, sometimes these games will remind me that I'm going to need to do something uh, a little bit more involved. Lipon hits uh, swings at the first pitch he sees, hits it over to O'Brien uh, for a deep fly ball, but not quite deep enough to score Robinson, who's not very fast. That's the first out here in the bottom of the second. Here is Neil Barry, who's hitting 296. Not a great fielder, but a pretty good hitter, at least so far. One and one now is the count on Barry. 
and uh, there's a, a change in the dirt for a ball, two and one now the count. There's a throw to first, nothing doing. The next pitch, and there's a little ground ball over to uh, first. We're going to throw Robin, have Robinson go home. He is thrown out at home, and uh, so it's a good play by Birdie Tebbets. And uh, this was kind of a, uh, uh, you know, sort of 50-50 type play, but I figured that it was better to uh, send the runner than risk the potential double play. I was actually kind of hoping that the uh, Red Sox were not going to uh, actually go for the uh, runner at the, the uh, trying to score, and instead we're going to try to uh, get the double play. As you can see, if you look at that rating, their berry is actually pretty quick. Um, and so uh, there was a, a chance that um, he could have beaten that one out and that would have scored the run and made it a 2 nothing ball game. Um, instead, we have uh, runners in first and second with the uh, pitcher Hutchinson coming up. Fred Hutchinson is hitting 400, though, 4 for 10, and he takes a ball. And there's a strike to him, 1-1 one one the count. And there's one over the plate and over the knees for a strike. So it's 1-2 and two now on Hutchinson, and that one is low, 2-2. Two and two. There's a ground ball over to the right side. Bobby Doerr has it, throws over to first for the out. And here's Ted Williams, the leadoff hitter here in the top of the third inning, takes a ball and another ball. That one's way off the plate. And there's a foul ball, two and one on the count on the splendid splitter. And there is a ground ball over to Barry at uh, second base. So it was the first for the out, one away. Vern Stevens now takes two straight balls, 2-0 count. There's a strike to him. It's two and one. And there's one outside, three and one the count. There's a pop-up and that one's foul. Full count now on him. And uh, he fouls another one off, as we see so many times with Diamond Mind and Hutchinson. There's a great change of pace to strike him out. Two outs, and here's Birdie Tevitz. And he hits a ground ball over to um, Barry at second base. He throws to first for the out. We go to the bottom of the third, and here's George Kell, who takes one inside for a ball. And one up high, a hanger, two and no the count on Kell, and uh, swings and misses of that one for a strike. There's a liner over to Stevens, a shortstop for the first out. Here's Johnny Groth. And uh, Groth takes a strike, and uh, then a ball, one and one. Now the count, and there's a, a swing and a miss on a breaking ball for strike two, one and two. Groth lays off one high, two and two now, and there's another one high, full count on him. And there's ball four, one out walk here, and that brings up Vic Wirtz, and the Tigers can do some damage. Let's see what what they can do. There is a fastball low and inside for a ball, one and zero. Oh the count. There's a change up for a strike. It's one and one. And he fouls one off, one and two now the count on words, and he lifts that one over to the right field line, and that's going to drop, and that is, as they say here in Adventure, and that's one that was uh, sort of well-placed and well-hit, and um, this is the sort of play-by-play -play that we like to see. Uh, very, very uh, descriptive without necessarily being super descriptive. Um, and uh, descriptive in the sense that um, as soon as he says what happens, you can uh, sort of imagine it. And uh, that's a very, very good play by words here in the... Um, uh, bottom of the third inning. It's a, one of those little hit them where they ain't type of uh, base hits. That means that there are runners on first and third now for Hoot Evers, who's one of these uh, Tigers who knows how to hit. And there's a ball to him, 1 0 the count. And it's 2 0. Kinder misses again, 2 0. That one's on the outside edge, 2 and 1 now. And there's ball 3 low, and we'll have Evers take, and he takes ball 4. Kinder lost him, even though he was watching all the way. And that brings up Aaron Robinson. Aaron Robinson is hitting only 179. Um, he did have the uh, walk earlier in this game, um, but uh, it's a kind of a loud 179 with that home run and with eight uh, runs batted in. And uh, this is definitely the guy you want to have coming up in uh, this situation, even if he's not quite hitting for average at the moment, um, because he has that ability to really, really hurt you. Um, and uh, there's one wide, ball one, 1-0 one -oh pitch, and there's a ground ball over to Doer in the hole. And um, uh, scores a run as DeWerg flips over to Stevens for the out. And now it's a 2 nothing game for the Tigers. And that's the way that they play. And they'll sort of peck you to death. A little peck here and a little peck there. And uh, that is another... Um, now I don't know if he gets an RBI on that or not, but that is definitely a run that Robinson has contributed to. He did the right thing. He did the thing that you want to see um, happen in that situation. And uh, so here with two outs now, that will bring up... Uh, uh, that will bring up the first baseman, uh, Paul Campbell. Campbell is one for one so far today, takes a strike, 0 and 1 pitch, and he fouls one back, it's 0 and 2. Now it's 1 and 2, his kinder misses, and he misses again, 2 and 2, now the count, and there's one fouled off of his foot, still 2 and 2, and there's a fastball low and away, full count. And uh, there's a jam job foul, full count still, and that one's out of play, still full count. 
And that's another foul ball out of play. The count is still full. And there's one smacked over to deep center field. And Spence runs all the way back and grabs that one because, of course, it's an airport there in center field. And we go to the top of the fourth. Here's Johnny Pesky who takes a strike. 0 and 1 now. That one's high for a ball. It's 1 and 1. And there's a ground ball over to Barry at second base who just throws that one away. And uh, that's another really, really bad play. And that'll bring up Tommy O'Brien. And uh, Barry has had a heck of a time here so far. And uh, this is another. <laughs> Pretty bad play here is there's a little pop-up to the right side, and it's Hutchinson and Campbell who decide to look at each other instead of looking at the ball, instead of trying to, uh, you know, uh, direct traffic out there. Fortunately, Campbell is able to make the uh, desperation catch at the end. But uh, where's, uh, where's Robinson is my question. Somebody needs to direct traffic. One out now. There's a ground ball to Barry. Flips over to Lipon. Throws over to Campbell after making the play at second, and they double him up, and there's a double play. We go to the bottom of the fourth. So even these Tigers who have such a poor infield are able to get those double plays. Lipon up there hits a ground ball to Steven. So is the first for the first out. Here's Neil Barry. Barry takes the strike. Barry having an adventure here today, and there's another strike on him, 0-2 the count. And uh, that one's inside. It's 1-2. and two. And uh, there's strike three on the inside edge for the second out. And here's Fred Hutchinson. And there's a call strike on Hutchinson. 0-1 oh, now. And there's a ball to him. It's 1-1. One and, one. and that one's fouled back. 1-2 one and two now. The count on Hutchinson. That's high and outside for a ball. So it's 2-2. Two and two, And that one's popped up and foul out of play. And uh, that fastball misses. And uh, there's a full count here on Hutchinson, who's the pitcher. And there's a swing and a miss. Hutchinson just couldn't avoid that. And we go to the top of the fifth. Billy Hitchcock up here now, and Hutchinson starts him off with a fastball, a little bit off speed, another fastball, 0-2 now, and uh, there's a fly ball over to Evers, the left fielder catches it for the out, one away, there's a ground ball over to Barry, the second baseman who's had so many adventures today, and he makes the play over to first, two away, and here's Ellis Kinder, and uh, he takes a strike, and there's one high and away, one and one the count. And there's a letta pitch in there for a strike, another changeup. And uh, yes, he struck out Kinder on that third pitch. And we go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Here's uh, George Kell, two nothing still, Red uh, Tigers rather over the Red Sox. And there is a, a base hit by Kell who goes hits it over to Ted Williams, and that one just lands in front of the splendid splinter, and that brings up Johnny Groth here with the runner on first base. Now, not much we can do in terms of uh, running because these guys just don't have the. Uh, the stats that you need, two straight balls here on Johnny Groth, 2-0 count now on him. There's a pitch inside that misses. Ellis Kinder's been all over the place, and uh, there is a fastball strike. We're going to take this pitch again. Groth takes strike two. It's a full count, and that one is just high, and we work the walk off of Kinder, who's walked five so far. Kinder has walked quite a few, and in real life, he had 98 walks to 140 strikeouts, so he's definitely not fully reproducing what he did in real life. There's a strike to Wirtz and a foul ball. Oh, and two now the pitch. And he jumps on top of that curveball, and that's going to score maybe two. We're going to, or maybe one. We're going to send both of those runners. Wirtz is going to stay at first base. And uh, he is safe at that play at home. And that's run number three here for the Tigers here. This is in the bottom of the fifth inning. And uh, they have a chance to do a lot more damage. Hoot Evers up here now with runners on first and third. Nobody out. Kinder's starting to fall apart. And there's a slider low for a ball. 1-0. and And it's 2-0 and now. Kinder's still having a hard time. There's a breaking ball inside. And Evers is going to uh, wait in the weeds for this. And there's the slider that's over the plate. Man, you threw a 3-0 slider. Interesting. We'll have him take this one. And there's one that just catches the outside corner for strike two. Full count now, and Kinder loses him and walks him. That's block number six given up by Ellis Kinder. That brings up Aaron Robinson. Robinson takes a ball inside, and it's a 1-0 count with the bases loaded. Swings and misses at one. There's a 1-1 count on him, and there's another ball, 2-1. and one. Robinson now, and that's below the knees, and it's a 3-1 count. We're going to take this pitch, and there's strike two. Full count on him. And he lines one to right field. O'Brien charges, but it falls in front of him. We're going to try to score another run. And um, we are not going to have Robinson try for second. And the throw's off the mark. And uh, Evers ends up taking third base. And that's uh, two more runs in this inning. And it is 5 nothing uh, Tigers. How much longer are they going to stay with Kinder is the question. He has 100 pitches here. And we're not even, even through five innings. And uh, here's Paul Campbell, and there's a ground ball over to first base. We will have Evers try to score, and they're going to throw over to first. That moves Robinson up and scores the run, and there's only one out, and here comes Johnny Lipon with a runner on second base. 6 nothing Tigers. That one is a slider that hangs up and in, and uh, there's a uh, poor pitch by uh, Kinder, and uh, that's a single over to uh, center field. We're not going to have Aaron Robinson try to score. There's no need. Neil Barry up there now. We're going to do a little hit and run. Let's see what happens. 
and uh, there's a ground ball over to short, and uh, we're not going to try for home. Stevens uh, throws over to f- uh, first base, but that does move the uh, runner, uh, Lipon, up to second. Runners on second to third now for Fred Hutchinson, who has one RBI so far this season, who's hitting 333. And uh, there's one high on him, one to know the count. And there's a bouncing ball over to Stevens. The shortstop makes a good play on it, throws the first for the out. We go to the top of the sixth. Still surprising that Kinder stays in there. Ted Williams starts this one off with the ground ball to Barry, throws the first for the first out. Vern Stevens now. So it looks like they're going to have Kinder stay into this through the uh, going to the sixth inning. 0 2 the count on Stevens. And uh, he fouls one off, still 0 2. And there's one popped up in front of the plate. And uh, Kell ends up, the third baseman ends up making the catch on that one as it's out of play. Two outs, and here's Bernie Tebbets. Birdie takes two straight balls, two and no, the count on him. And there's a fastball inside, it's two and one. And uh, he fouls one off, two and two now. There's a one hopper that just finds his way past Kell at third base and into the left field for a single. So here's Johnny Pesky who takes the ball, 1 0 the count on him, runner on first, 1 and 1 now. And uh, one and one pitch is too high. Two and one now the count. And that one's outside for a ball. It's three and one. There's one last in the right center field. And Wirtz can't quite catch up with it. That's a base hit for Pesky. Tebbets moves over to third. And here comes Tommy O'Brien. For runners on first and third, two outs here, top of the six. Six to nothing, Tigers. And uh, O'Brien's got two balls in him. There's a strike. Two and one the count. And there's one that's just fouled on the right field line. And, um, there's another one foul down the left field line that just missed being a home run, and there's a pop foul, and uh, Robinson can't quite get it. It's still 2-2. Two and two. Another foul ball, still 2-2, two and two. and there's one hit straight to center field. Johnny Roth goes back and gets it, and we go to the bottom of the six. Here's George Kell, still 6 nothing, And there's a ball in there to Kell, and Kinder has labored a lot. 1-1 one one now the count on Kell, and he hits one over to second base. Dora has it, throws to first for the first out. Here is Johnny Roth. And there is a strike to Roth, and it's 0-1. And, and he swings and misses, 0-2. That one's high, 1-2 one now the count on him. And there's one popped up. Pesky, the third baseman, grabs it for the second out. And here's uh, Vic Wirtz, who takes the ball. 1-0 and now the count on Wirtz. And he hits a line drive that goes by Hitchcock, the first baseman, into right field for a base hit. That brings up Hoot Evers, now runner on first. And uh, there's a ball to Evers. Evers has walked every time up. And there's another ball. I think he's walked every time up. Yeah, three walks so far. And uh, 3-0 is the count. And there's ball four. Kinder stays in this game despite giving up seven walks here and only uh, not even six full innings. And here's Aaron Robinson. Runners on first and second. Robinson with yet another chance to score and more and to drive in more runs. One and one the count on Robinson. And there's a uh, fly ball over to Williams in left field. He makes the play. We go to the top of the seventh. And here's Bobby Dewar up against Fred Hutchinson. Ground ball over to Barry, the uh, second baseman. Throws to first for the out. One away. Billy Hitchcock now hits one over to Kell, the uh, third baseman. Throws to first for the second out. Here's Stan Spence. There's a strike in the inside corner to him. 0 1 the count. There's a fair ball over first base, but Hitch, uh, Campbell is able to uh, grab that one and uh, takes it to the bag himself. Bottom of the seventh now, and Kinder is still in there, and uh, he throws a ball here to Paul Campbell, and uh, Campbell then fouls one back. 1 1 the count now. And there is a ground ball over to Hitchcock, who uh, flips it, plays with it, flips over to Kinder for the first out, and here's Johnny Lipon. And uh, he takes the ball. 1 0 the count on him, and there's a strike, 1 1. And uh, there's one outside and low, 2 and 1 now the count on Lipon. And two and two, as so he wasn't able to check his swing. And there's one hit over the right side, rolled over there. And Lipon is um, uh, thrown out by Kinder, who uh, went off the mound to grab that one. Two away, and here's Neil Barry. And there's a strike to him. Owen won the count. Another strike as he swung and missed at what was a ball. Owen two. And uh, that one's a ball. One and two. Now the count. And he gets into one in the left field over to Williams. He makes the play. We go to the top of the eighth. Here's Ellis Kinder. Kinder stays in the ball game. Isn't it amazing? He takes a strike. And there's another strike, 0-2, oh, the count on him. Hutchinson is uh, only at his uh, 82nd pitch so far, top of the eighth. And there's a little pop-up over to Lipon, the uh, shortstop, one away. And here's uh, Ted Williams, who hits one over deep to right, two words, two away. Here's Vern Stevens. I don't think that was in the uh, Williams book on hitting, was it? Here's uh, a little uh, ground, uh, a little uh, liner, rather, to uh, left field that splits between Evers and Groth for a base hit. Stevens winds up at second with a double. And here's Birdie Tebbets. A little bit of power is what the Red Sox need, but they need to get a whole bunch of those. You're going to get six runs. Three and no, the count on Tebbets, and he takes a strike. Now it's three and one. And there's one that's high, and that's ball four. And here comes Johnny Pesky, and the Red Sox might be able to get back into this one. Pesky takes a ball and another ball. Two of the count now on Pesky, and there's a ground ball over to Campbell. And, uh, boy, that one was in trouble. And Campbell, instead of playing it, lets that one roll, and that one rolls just fair. 
and uh, there's an adventurous sort of rare play for you, and um, that's one of those rare plays you don't usually see. Usually the ball ends up rolling foul when that happens, um, but this time it is fair, and that ends up being uh, something to load the bases. That brings up Tommy O'Brien here with a chance to do something, but of course it's Tommy O'Brien. He takes a, a fastball inside. Want to know the count on him? That's way high. It's two and O. Hutchinson having some problems. Two and one now, and uh, there's a ball. Three and one, and uh, there's a fastball. Full count now on him, and there's ball four just above the letters. And Hutchinson walks in that run, and it's six to one now. That'll bring up Bobby Doerr, who takes a strike. O and one on Doerr, and there's a strike off the outside corner. It's one and one. And uh, there's one high and outside, two and one the count. And there's a half fastball inside that misses. There's a ground ball over to Lipon. Shovels over to Barry at second for the force. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Fred Hutchinson will lead this one off. And they are standing and applauding him, even though he just walked in the first run of the game for the Red Sox. He hits a fly ball over to Spence, who makes the first play. George Kell now takes the ball. And fouls one back, one and one the count. And uh, that's cut on a miss for a strike, one and two. And there's a ground ball over to Pesky, and he makes, or Stevens rather, makes the play at first base. Two away, and here's Johnny Groth. And there's a strike to Groth. Oh, and one the count on him. And there's a ball. It's one and one. And there's a ground ball over to Stevens, who throws over to Fitch- Hitchcock for the out. We go to the top of the ninth inning just like that. And here is Billy Hitchcock, six to one, Red Sox. And he takes a strike. And there is a ball, one and one now the pitch. It's two and one now as that one misses, and he swings and misses. It's two and two, and there's a uh, little fly ball over to Groth in center field. Makes the play. One away here is uh, Stan Spence again, 0 for 3. 0 for almost everything this season with the 0.43 uh, uh, batting average. And there's one hit straight over to Kell. Throws over to first for the out. Two away, and here's Ellis Kinder, and they're not going to pinch hit for Kinder here in the ninth. That's a little bit weird. Ground ball over to Barry. He makes the play. Throws over to first for the out. That does it. There's your ball game. The uh, uh, Tigers are able to win this one uh, six to one, and uh, that was uh, something certainly. And I uh, hope that you enjoyed this one, and we will uh, see you with more of this tomorrow. See you then. Bye.